This is the era of artificial intelligence. Every day new AI tools are being introduced to the world. Do you know you can also create your own AI or SaaS tool? Yes, you heard right. You can do it, even if you have no knowledge of any programming language. Today, I will introduce a platform where you can create your very own SaaS tool by just drag and drop. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Introducing Vectorshift AI, the no-code AI automation platform. It's an integrated framework of no-code, low-code, and out-of-the-box generative AI solutions to build AI search engines, assistance, chatbots, and automation. You can integrate platforms like Google Drive, OneDrive, Salesforce, HubSpot, Notion, or Airtable. Use large language models like OpenAI, Anthropic, Hugging Face, Google, El Llama, AWS, Mistral AI, and more. Now let's see how we can create an automation or SaaS tool with Vectorshift AI. I will put the link to Vectorshift AI in the description. Just head over there and create your account. Once you are logged in, your interface will look like this. Here you can see my previously created pipeline. If it's your first time, then your interface will be like this. All right, let's create a new one. For example, I want to create a tool to generate blog posts with related images. To do that, we first have to create a new pipeline. Now you will find various template pipelines for different use cases. For example, if you want to create a chatbot to collect leads, you can select this template and then customize the data. I will create my pipeline from scratch. So, come back and click on Create Pipeline from Scratch. This is the Pipeline Editor page. Now first of all, we need the input. Just drag and drop at least one output from the General Node tab. Once the input node is added, we have to customize it. As I am going to create a blog article generator, I am typing the main keyword. Next, set the input type. I am selecting text. OK, we have the input. Now add the output node. After entering the output node, we have to connect them. Simply drag the input to the output to connect them. Now let's try the tool. Simply click on the Run button from here. This is the input box. And here you will find the output. For testing purposes, I am entering some random words in the input box. Once the input is ready, hit the Run button. And you can see the output result. It's the same as our input because we didn't add any knowledge data or any large language model. Now I will do that. Remove the connection between the input and output node, and then come to the LLMs tab. Here you will find all the renowned LLMs, including OpenAI, Google, Llama, Perplexity, and Amazon AWS. This time, I am choosing OpenAI. Here you will notice two options, System and Prompt. The system is for your custom instruction, and the prompt is for input data. For example, I am entering an instruction. Imagine you are a blog or article writer. I will give you the main keyword, and you will write the full article for me. This time I won't enter anything in the prompt section. You can change the language model and add your API key. Now connect the input and prompt, and then connect the OpenAI response to the output. Once you are done, hit the Run button to run the pipeline. Our pipeline is ready to use. This time, I am typing the main keyword as History of World War II. And now hit the Run button. Now you can see it generates an article which is a good article. But wait, I am going to make it more personalized and also generate the feature image with AI. To do that, we need to add some more inputs. So, I am adding three more inputs. Now, I will set them one by one. The first one is for the main keyword or topic. The next one is for additional keywords. The third one is for the audience. And the fourth one is for voice tone. Once the inputs are ready, we have to connect them to the OpenAI LLM. To do that, we need to create variables in the prompt section. Disconnect the link with the main keyword. Now click here to add a new variable. Name it main keyword. After that, write additional keyword and then add another variable. Rename this variable additional keyword. In this way, add a name and variable for audience and voice tone. Now we need to customize the system prompt. I already wrote a system prompt on a notepad and I am pasting it here. Don't worry, I will put it in the description box. OK, next, connect all the input to the related variable one by one. Now, if you link this OpenAI LLM to the output, you can generate more customized results. But I will make it more powerful and accurate. Actually, I will add another LLM called Perplexity to verify the OpenAI-generated content so that we can get the most accurate information. After adding the Perplexity LLM, I am connecting the OpenAI LLM response to the Perplexity LLM prompt. And in the system prompt, 
I am entering a prompt asking it to cite and verify the information. And in the end, I am connecting the perplexity response to the output node. All right, now our pipeline is ready to generate powerful blog articles. But what about the image? To generate the images, we have to add some other nodes. First of all, I am adding another OpenAI LLM. This time, I am asking it to generate an image prompt in the system prompt section. Now connect the main keyword response to the new OpenAI LLM prompt section. It will generate an image generator prompt. Now we need an image generator node. So come to the multi-model tab. Here you will find various multimodal nodes to generate text to image, image to text, and even text to speech. I am selecting the image generation node from here. Once the image generation node is added to the timeline, link it to the OpenAI response. Next, you have to set the image generation platform and model. You can generate images with OpenAI and Stability AI. I am going with OpenAI. Next, set the model. I will go with DAL E3. After that, set the image size and number. OK, our image generator node is ready. Now we have to add another output node. After adding the output node, set the output format as image. Now link the image generation node response with output 2. All right, our pipeline is now fully ready. Let's try it. Just insert the main keyword, additional keywords, audience, and voice tone, and then hit the run button. And here it is, our blog article is ready. At the bottom, you can see the image. That's really relevant to our blog article. So now you can create your own AI tool with Vectorshift AI. But how can we share this with the public or use it publicly? I am coming to that. First of all, click on the Deploy Changes button from here. Now you will find an icon here called Export Pipeline. Click on it, and you will find three options. Automation, Chatbot, and Form. We have to select the Form option. I will talk about automation and chatbots in another video. You can also watch the Vectorshift official channel's videos. Now give a name to your form. After that, hit the Create Form button. On the next page, we have to customize the form's appearance. Add a custom logo if you want, then change the name and custom message. After that, you can customize the input and output format. Once you are done, hit the Deploy Changes and then hit the Export button. And here it is. The form is now published. You can copy the URL and share it with your friends. I will go with the second option, Share Form iframe. Just copy this code and then publish it on your website. For tutorial purposes, I will publish it on a blog post web page. I am pasting the HTML code on a blog page. Now hit the publish button and view the page. You can see this is our very own blog post generator AI tool. Now enter the required data to generate the post. Once everything is set, hit the generate button. And here it is. The blog post is ready. That's really amazing. And at the bottom, you can see the image. It's just awesome. I love it. So now you can create your own AI tool without any coding knowledge. Vectorshift AI can be more capable than you might think. You can do so much with this amazing platform. If you want to know more, tell me in the comments section and I will make more videos on Vectorshift. And yes, don't forget to try it yourself. Link in the description. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about Vectorshift AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating.